Asteroid OS has been created by Florent Rivest, a French computer science student, and is a completely standalone Linux-based wearable OS that is not based on Android Wear in any shape or form. It is also entirely open source, which will allow other developers and manufacturers to freely modify it as they see fit. Before diving into the review, something to keep in mind is that Asteroid OS is still in the alpha stages of development. So understandably, not everything will work perfectly. You will notice a lot bugs and freezes, but it does run well enough for you to get an idea of what this new take on the wearable operating system has to offer. There is an app you can download from the Asteroid OS website, that will allow you to manage certain functions and pair it to your smartphone for notifications. So far, the smartwatches that Asteroid OS can be ported to include the LG G Watch, the LG Watch Urbane, the Sony Smartwatch 3, and the Asus ZenWatch 2, but that list should continue to grow. Bluetooth pairing works only with the LG G Watch however, and even then, it can be quite finicky. The connection isn't always stable, and notifications tend to disappear after a few seconds, with the watch going back to saying that you have no new notifications. So far, there isn't a way to interact with, or even read, notifications either. When the watch is connected to the phone, you have several options within the app itself. You can change the weather to the city of your choice, locate your watch, take a screenshot, and tinker with the notification settings. The weather settings and the Find My Watch options are currently the only features that work for now. The app also tells you the remaining battery life of your smartwatch, but it isn't accurate at the moment, so you are better off checking the device's battery life on the watch itself. Since it is touch-based, all the navigation is done via swipes. If you swipe down on the display, you will get access to some quick shortcuts for screen brightness, Bluetooth, and enabling or disabling vibration, and you can also see the remaining battery life here. If you tap on the lock icon, it will put the watch to sleep, and a double tap on the display will wake it up. Swiping to the left will show you your notifications, assuming that notifications work properly. Swiping right works like a back key, unless you are already on the main home screen, in which case a swipe to the right will take you to the recent apps screen. Here, 